These black and white pictures are the latest satellite images encouraging teams searching for the missing Malaysia Airlines plane that they're on the right track. Some objects were a metre in length, others were as much as 23 metres in length. Some of the objects appeared to be bright, possibly indicating solid material. Captured by French satellites on Sunday, it's not yet known if the objects belong to flight MH370. This is still the most credible lead that we have. After yesterday's bad weather suspended search efforts, today the multinational search effort resumed. A dozen aircraft and two ships from six different countries made the 1,500-mile journey out into the Indian Ocean off Australia. Back on land, Australia's parliament observed a moment's silence for the 239 people on board the ill-fated flight. The crash zone is about as close to nowhere as it's possible to be, but it's closer to Australia than to anywhere else. And these are the treacherous conditions facing search ships. High winds and rain have made the seas hard to navigate and even tougher to search. Even if debris still floats above water, it's been almost impossible to see. But while good weather meant calmer conditions, still nothing was found. Now fears of finding the plane's black boxes are growing, with transmitters likely to stop sending locator signals within two weeks. It's triggered fresh calls for all airliners to be fitted with satellite tracking, hardware that flight MH370 had on board but didn't use. Because of our desire for cheap tickets, Airlines find the tracking service too expensive to subscribe to. The Malaysian Transport Minister today defended the country's search operation, claiming that history will judge us well. Polly Whitehouse, 5 News.